What's up, everybody? I get a lot of questions asking, such a work, Joe, how do I get my first pull-up? Where do I start? Well, today, I'm gonna to show you how to get your first pull-up without using any equipment other than what you would find at your local calisthenics park. So, I'm gonna start with the highest bar that we could find in the uh, calisthenics park. If you've never done a pull-up before, if you've got limited strength and limited mobility, start with a high bar. The grip should be shoulder width apart. You should keep your wrists straight. Don't be bending them or squirming them around. Squeeze the bar really hard. Okay, now another top tip is to try and break the bar. So in other words, try and bend it or break it. And that will turn on all the back muscles and it will help protect your elbows, your wrists, and your shoulders from injury. Okay, now here we are breaking the bar. Everything's turned on. Now move your feet up. The further up you move your feet, the harder it becomes, by the way. But move your feet up so you can comfortably pull your chest to the bar without any pain or any undue strain on your neck or your elbows, your wrists, or your shoulders. So as you get better at pulling yourself to the bar, this level of difficulty, move your feet up. The further up you move it, the harder it becomes. Okay, once you get comfortable and strong on the high bar, then you progress to a lower version. So the lower bar, you move your feet up further, it's lowered, so you transition to what's called an Australian pull-up. I guess because you're down under, right? <laughs> okay, so now that you've mastered the high bar and the low bar, we're going to talk a little bit about transitioning to the vertical bars. So my recommendation is start with the low bar.